Moving to Joburg at the beginning of this year was quite a challenge. I was specifically trying to find something in the landscape to connect with. I was very much aware of the landscape and how it was changing. But all I could see was either these massive mining heaps or construction sites or buildings. It's just these, these scars in the earth that was extremely striking, but yet also strangely beautiful in a way. That was definitely what I wanted to make work out of. I knew that that was what I want to observe. I started researching and eventually found a geologist that was willing to show me around. Keith Matir, who's a geologist of Central Rand Gold. Keith then took me on a tour of the main reef and explained the process to me. He said that it takes about a cubic meter of rocks to get but three grams of gold. The stones are a light gray color when they're underneath the surface of the earth, but as they get slowly get, comes closer to the surface or get exposed to oxygen, and water, they start to oxidize. The minerals and metals in the rock start to oxidize. And that's what gives the rocks their brilliant color, which was something that I was immediately very excited about. But then Keith explained that that's also the process that causes acid drainage in mines, which is one of the biggest concerns around the mines in Joburg at the moment. My issue up until now has been that I didn't give enough attention to the top frames. So I needed to bring the idea of gold and have the concept follow through from, from what's happening underneath the frames to what's happening to the frames. So it's like it becomes an integrated sculpture. And I was then yeah, very lucky to meet Jaden because that's Jaden's side of things. So he is trained as a designer. My work has come, become a lot about prototyping and testing ideas and realizing ideas and that's where my passion's at so working with artists becomes really interesting the whole idea of this frame is to bring a landscape up and relate to human scale it's to relate to eye level the golden sector is the 1.618 scale a lot of what was challenge in the work was dealing with that number, was dealing with the fact that it's going to scale on that level. So the smallest one of these frames and the biggest one have to relate, have to be on a human scale. And I guess that, that also um, plays a big role in trying to create this form. And at the end of the day, it is just a form. The, the, the golden mean is kind of the, the philosophical side. notion that beauty exists between two extremes, that there's the, the, the golden mean is the course between extremes, one of excess and one of lack. And some philosophers believe also that beauty can be mathematically equated and then there ex that there exists a close relationship in that, uh, if, you, if you try and do this equation between beauty and truth.